Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some new content for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the six time Malta and comparing it to the Big Z Malta here. So I'm gonna be playing four or five holes here at Langley Passive Park. Uh, just gonna be scoring them against each other, see how they do. I'm gonna be using my own putters to putt. Let's see how these two discs compare, shall we? Start with the Big Z. Game plan here, it's a little bit of a tailwind, so it's gonna stable it up a bit, but if I can put it just right through that middle gap, maybe just on a little touch of any, let's go for it, let's give it a go. Might shank it, but that's just life, isn't it? Low, flat, scoop, push, push, push. Okay, it's in the rough, but it's up there. But yeah, you can see the stability on that guy, how even though it was low and flat, it still pushed and then it just skipped out left. So let's try the, the six claw here, a little higher. There we go, that's the shot. Get going. And park it. All right, gonna have a little bit of an outside the circle look here. Oh, this gap is so small. Not even, not even two discs wide. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try the hyzer. You just do the hyzer, it's gonna be all right. Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> that's the best I could have hoped for. All right, let's tap out. Big Z here. Cool, so par for the Big Z. Hole, t hole one, actually, second hole we're playing is 264. Just gonna give it a big forehand. This isn't really a disc I would throw on this kind of hole. I probably honestly just try to do putter up in the gap and land it up there, but this is the challenge. So we're going forehand. Just need to make sure I get it nice and flat and yeah, don't rip it over. Six claw has the box. Let's do it. That's uh, looking pretty good. Get out of it. Not bad, we're in the middle. Big Z. I'm gonna try to do a little less Anheuser. I don't really try to do Anheuser. I think I probably rolled my wrist or something. Here we go, just nice and flat. And I ripped it right over. I might be squarely at the bottom of the lake. It's dry, hopefully. But let's go see where it is. You guys are gonna get to see how bad my jump putts are. Yeah, this is probably, I wanna say 55, 60, somewhere in there. I might just loft it, I don't think I'll jump. Okay, that works. It wasn't pretty, but it works. Okay, you can just see the corner of the basket up there. All right, let's tap in our bogey and our par. All right, this is for the big Z. No, this is for the six time. Yeah, and this is for the big Z. There we go. Pull three here. Uh, distance is 365, so we're actually gonna get to rip on these a little bit. See how they handle torque. Six time still has the box. So let's throw that one first. A little low. Should be a very easy par. There was just a touch of turn out of the six times, so let's see how the Big Z handles it. Grip that way off, grip locked it, but it's coming back. Can you guys tell I haven't played in five months? <laughs> there it is, that's gonna be an awkward footing. Isn't that exciting? I'm realizing there's no easy way to film this. Unfortunately, probably just gonna see the disc flying. Just a little pitch up here with the six time as well. Threw it wide enough, let it fade in. All right, he got a little bit of a tester here with, uh, with the big Z. Gonna take any distance I can here. Nope, don't throw them any, throw the desk. <laughs> there we go. Come on, could have caught that. Tap in with the six time. Okay, we're gonna finish this video with two more holes. We already played three. The six time is one down. The big Z is two over. Maybe subconscious confidence, like this disc is just dope, so I'm throwing it better. Who knows, that's actually a mental thing. <laughs> that's funny when you say it like that, but discs that you're excited about, you tend to throw better. But before we move on to the last part, I just wanna show you guys uh, some comparisons, some differences. Both of them feel pretty stiff 
uh, the six time feels a little more stiff in the hand, has a little more stability in the, um, in the rim. Big Z is just a little bit more gummy as you can expect. Um, and this, this specific six time multi I got, you can see that it's kind of transparent. So basically what happens is if they're making a disc or a batch of discs and they're kind of running out of uh, ESP, they'll just throw some plastic in there and sometimes it happens to be some Z. So you get ESP discs that are slightly see-through transparent. So that's called ZSP. It's arguable what it does. Sometimes it makes it more stable, sometimes it makes it less stable. But in this time, I think it's making it a little bit more stable because the Big Z is already more stable than the stock run. And this is more stable than the Big Z. It's not like night and day difference, but it is when you put a little bit of power on it. You can just tell that this wants to flex out a little bit more. Even with that forehand, the fact that it like held over the line and actually came back right at the end was an indicator of that. So parting line is slightly higher on the six time as well. So yeah, if you're looking for something slightly more stable than uh, a Big Z or the stock run Malta, yeah, pick up the six time. It's a pretty cool disc. You might actually throw it better, who knows? That's all I'm gonna say. Let's play these last two holes. See if I can get some birdies with the Big Z. See if I can get some more birdies with the uh, six time. Uh, this hole is looking like about 280, 285. Downhill, those would play shorter. Six time, once again, has the box. It's a little bit of any, not a ton. Will it pull out? Okay. Got to roll out to the middle. That was just a little bit too much Anheuser. Also, I'm just feeling it right now, but we have a little bit of wind coming this way, maybe 10 kilometers an hour, 15. So as it gets over on that side, the wind kind of just pushes it. So let me give it a little less Annie, see if I can actually flex it out here. Okay. Get over, keep going. Not that far, no, hit something. <laughs> Okay, we're at the top of the path. That's okay. All okay, right, so the big Z ended up getting actually through everything, flexing out and getting back to here. Channel your inner professional. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. What the heck? Oh, am I going to get another bogey? Jeez. Okay, this one. I think it's, yeah, it's just too far. There we go, that'll play. Another awkward putt, I might straddle. Oh, should have warmed up my putting, dang it. I can just blame it on not warming up, right? Yeah, I don't suck at putting, I just didn't warm up. There we go. Yet another bogey. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna finish off hole 16 here. This looks like a delightfully parable hole. <laughs> Six times still has the box. It is 318 feet. I would love to get at least one birdie with the big Z, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Sorry guys. Get through there. Oh, it's going. It's going. Did that not hit anything? Oh my gosh. That might be down there. Big Z. And why would I not hit the tree, right? <laughs> Let's go see if we can save our par. Can't really see the basket, but it's right behind that tree. Uh, let's do a little pitch up. Got to stand in the blackberry bushes. Let's give this a little run, shall we? Come on. Oh yeah, that was, <laughs> that was so short. It looked good for a second though. All right, guys, that is that. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about these. Are you gonna be picking up a six-time Malta? Do you already pick up a six-time Malta? Yeah, let me know. Do you like this format? Um, gonna be doing two more, one for the Luna, one for the Zone, and those I have three molds, or three, three different plastics of each, so it'll be a little bit more comprehensive as well. But yeah, hope you have a good day. We'll see you in the next one. So, I was just looking back over the footage, and I realized I'm a little bit of a goofball. I missed a couple different shots missed a couple different holes with the filming <laughs> it's been it's been quite a while since i've done actually uh live course filming like this forgive me i'll do better on the next one anyway that's it see you guys